We also want to remember in 2020, uh, a few more who uh, started the journey with us, but did not end the journey with us. One of those is in the person of James Lipton. Yes. Who um, is most known, at least to people of our generation, as the host of Inside the Actors Studio and uh, had so many guests on there. You got a chance to kind of get behind the scenes and learn some things that you didn't uh, learn from, I guess, seeing them in their character portrayals on television. But he was able to get some things out of them. It's so true. And I think one of the things, you know, I'm so amazed now how close and personal and sits um, celebrities are with Instagram pages and just kind of chronicling different, yeah. you know, vlogging their vacations or different, you know, experiences. And a lot of it's scripted to script to some degree, but you just still get much more access yeah. and you can see them. But at the time, I think what was so great about Inside the Actor Studio is that you got to hear... Um, celebrities in their own words and kind of hear interviews that weren't necessarily in publicity or promotion of a, a project, but just to hear them talking. And he was so great to me at opening people up. Yes. And yes. so I just thought he had such a, you know, phenomenal gift really for interviewing and for really, I think, you know, just getting, especially I think often it was really impressive to see it for those who had kind of been a little bit stoic or a little bit distanced with media and to really see them kind of your, their personalities, you know, kind of unfold even over the course of the interview. And it's amazing right now, uh, as I've heard somebody say, the gatekeepers are gone. So mm -hmm. now you don't have to go through a publicist wow. to get to your uh, favorite celebrity now. You can dial them up on Instagram. You can reach out to them through so many ways on social media. So uh, kind of a tribute to a time that has gone <laughs> past. Mm -hmm. uh, but most of all, somebody who did it great uh, on Inside the Actors Studio. And speaking of uh, actors... One of my favorites, the original James Bond, the voice, the presence of Sean Connery. Sir Sean Connery. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That really, I, I just, I think he's one of those actors, too, for me. I didn't know him. I think they said his, fir or his first um, portrayal of Bond was in Dr. Oz. And Dr. No. Dr. No. Thank you. 1962. <laughs> oh, Dr. No. 1962. So that's before our time, thankfully, also yes. level. So I didn't didn't see him necessarily at that stage but just to see him over time he just aged so um i thought just so impressively and um just became i think almost more noble to me on some level or just um but just i i just always was so impressed i think it was the voice and mm -hmm. his stage presence but always enjoyed him the hunt for red october was yeah. one of my favorites um really really one of my favorites i really like what he did in uh entrapment mm -hmm. with Catherine zeta jones yes was, that uh, was that was that was matter half level. of his catalog but still i yes. uh, think an excellent portrayal and performance that he gave yes you. next level absolutely so that that's a major loss yes yes so uh tribute hail and farewell to sir sean connery well we just talked about james lipton and inside the actor's studio and one of the things uh, that was kind of the centerpiece and one of the hallmarks of inside the actor's studio was the uh, questions that yes. James Lipton would give to the actors at the end of the interview and in kind of looking up how he kind of got there. Actually, his 10 questions came from a French novelist mm. uh, who actually adapted those questions from uh, another uh, French artesian, uh, mm. so to speak, okay. uh, who actually had 20 questions. This brother had uh, 10 questions that he developed when he was 13 and wow. another 10 that he developed when he was 20. So wow. uh, Lipton's is kind of, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, just a kind of coming together mm -hmm, of those mm -hmm. two lists. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to do that? All right, let's do it. Let's do, we want to do five and five? Let's do five and five. Five All and right. five. So All right. um, I'll start off with what's your favorite color? My favorite color, I would have to say, um, that's a tough one. See, I thought that would be tough for you. <laughs> that's a tough one, but I'll go with blue. Today. Today. <laughs> Would it be different if I asked you tomorrow? It depends. If I have time to think about it, maybe I, it might be See, different. Because I've known you to say different colors over these course of years. Yeah. But blue. Any shade of blue or just blue? Navy blue. Navy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to keep it pushing. All right. Who is your, um, who are your heroes? One real, one fictional. Wow. Uh, who are my heroes? One real, one fictional. I would say, um, and I've said this, um, when I ask this question in a different context, 
my heroes are those who survived the middle passage. Mm, those that's are deep. That's deep. those are my heroes. Wow. Um, among others, wow. uh, among others, but really, those are my heroes. For those who survived the middle passage, and it's no uh, disrespect or really taking down of anybody who did not. But those right. who survived, right. those are my heroes. Wow. Okay, you have a fictional hero. Fictional hero. Um, I guess I would say, um, for the sake of time and conversation, I'd probably say uh, Spider-Man. Okay, all right. What's your motto? My motto is, uh, let's make it happen. Okay, let's make it happen. Okay, so the next question would be, what is your, who is your favorite music musician? Wow, who is my favorite musician? Um, Quincy Jones. Good one. And then last... Stevie Wonder. Yeah, yeah, there's so many. I mean, uh, so many. <laughs> um, outside of your current profession, what profession would you like to attempt? Wow. So outside of my current profession, what profession would I like to attempt? I would like to um, be a, a university president. Okay. All right. Those are my five. Okay. All right. Are you ready for... The big five. All right. This is the all roads lead to uh, five coming from Al. Okay. Uh, your favorite grade in school. My favorite grade in school. Fourth grade. Miss Brown's fourth grade. Okay. Uh, favorite place to go to relax. The beach. The food that you like the most. Oh my. It's probably going to be a dessert. Food I like the most. My favorite type of food, favorite food I like the most. Um, I think it'll be blueberry pie. Okay. Person who you'd like to meet that you never met before. I've been asked this before, and this is living or or someone from the past. Well, for the sake of conversation, yes, either or. The first time I answered this, I I had to think about it again. I really want to meet Charles Hamilton Houston. He to me is like the mastermind and like the 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 genius behind the civil rights movement and so much of the strategy. And I just really would love to meet him. And um, you know Howard, he really was a he the mentor of Thurgood Marshall. So much of yes. Yeah, so def I think I really think Charles Hamilton Houston. There's there's several others, but he's definitely a, a, towards the top of my list. Yeah. So Charles Hamilton Houston. Yes. Favorite holiday. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes. Okay, that's our five. All right. So we uh, thank you so much for joining us for All Roads Lead To with Al and Janae. Again, we want you to uh, please be safe. Have a great day and a great time wherever you are. And by all means, check us out again.